everybody and welcome to Heishinshin News, Old Man Yells at Clowns Edition. Today we're going to be talking about who needs nerfs. So in this situation, I am the old man yelling at clouds. What champions are currently overpowered as of current patch? Who needs to be nerfed? Well, in my opinion, it's the following champions. And now I'm going to go through them all. Did you guys like that intro? Anyway. The number one champion who needs nerfs, in my opinion, well, not literally the number one, but the first that comes to mind is Fiora. For those of you who don't know, Fiora was overbuffed last season. The base damage and the scaling damage on her passive was buffed, and she's been overpowered ever since. Now, remember, during the durability update, let me remind everybody, Riot recently did a patch increasing the health, armor, and magic resist of every champion in the game. A, that means that true damage, which ignores armor and magic resist, got better. Percent health damage got better because people have more health, making it do more damage. Fiora has percent health true damage, the most broken concept ever added into League of Legends. Fiora has just been massively, 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 massively overpowered since then. In addition to her passive barely getting nerfed, she just has been absolutely dominating the meta. The problem here is Fiora is actually supposed to be a counterpick. Fiora is not currently a counter pick. She's destroying everybody. Everywhere. At Masters Plus, she currently has a 52.95% win rate, the highest pick rate, and a 35% ban rate. The problem here, in addition to that, is one of her counter picks, Gangplank, is the second highest pick. So not only is Fiora doing abnormally well for a supposed counter pick, just getting first picked into everything, but she's doing that well when one of her hard counters is literally right there being picked against her all the time. This champion is monstrously overpowered and needs a significant nerf. Next patch, they're doing a minor nerf to her, lowering the base damage on her passive from 3% to 2%, but I don't believe that will be nearly enough. Fiora is supposed to be a counter pick. A counter pick is not getting first picked, obliterating everybody who doesn't beat her, and then even doing well into the champions who are supposed to be beating her. You can never play champions like Kled right now because they'll just go Fiora and absolutely obliterate you. That's not how it's supposed to be, Riot. The number two champion, I'm gonna say, is Darius. Darius, I don't believe he's as bad as Fiora, but he is overpowered right now. I don't think he's that overpowered. During the durability update, they did lower the amount healed on his Q, but it wasn't really that bad. Um, earlier in the season, they buffed the damage on his ultimate, and I believe they should go ahead and revert this buff, and that would probably take care of his imbalance issue. The problem right now is, once again, after they increased everybody's armor, health, and magic resist, Darius, with his 35% permanent armor pen on his E, and the true damage on his ultimate, has been able to circumvent a lot of these buffs that other champions have had to deal with. In addition to that, he has uh, more damage whenever he gets to five bleeds on a target, which again, he gets by just attacking you five times. When he gets tankier, that means that fights are longer. Fights are longer for everybody, because everybody got tankier. Well, that means that Darius' passive is a lot better, because you can't burst him down before he gets to five bleeds. At any rate, Darius commands a 52.59% win rate, with the 5th highest pick rate. At Platinum Plus, Darius is still at a 51.7%, with the 2nd highest pick rate, 19% ban rate. When we go down to the low ranks and all ranks, he is the highest pick, 50% win rate, with a 23% ban rate. Now remember, the higher your pick rate, the lower your win rate on average will do. This means that Darius is pretty much dominating every single rank right now. I don't think his win rate is that absurd, but I do agree, yes, he is overpowered. And I do think what Riot should just do is go into Darius and just go ahead and revert this ult buff. Just, you know, pull that back and be like, okay, you know? And in my opinion, I think that that is fine. Okay. The next champion who's overpowered, in my opinion, isn't really a champion, it's more of a concept. Lethal Tempo. Uh, lethal Tempo, I'm not gonna go really into this, it's the same issue as Darius, okay? Uh, everybody got tankier, which Lethal Tempo, if you remember, it gets you more attack speed per stack. Um, every time you attack, you get more attack speed. So, the problem with Lethal Tempo, which is a keystone, that means anyone can take it, the problem is all these champions with Lethal Tempo are being picked, um, they're being picked in lots of different lanes by lots of different people, and with everyone tankier, they can stack it up and survive longer once it's stacked up. This means that it's outperforming compared to other keystones, which can only proc once or maybe twice a fight. Conqueror did get his healing nerf, so Conqueror seems to be relatively in check. 
but Lethal Tempo is particularly sort of running amok, and champions who use it are doing way too well. The next thing I should think should be nerfed, and let's go into jungle for this one. The next thing that should be nerfed is Kindred. Kindred is disturbingly overpowered right now at 54% win rate at Masters Plus. Kindred is um, absurdly overpowered, and I don't really even have anything to say about this. Um, the, the, the numbers speak for themselves. Last patch it was 54%, or sorry, this patch is 54%. The patch over that it was 53.9%. Um, she's just going way too strong. Uh, just, just way, just too much, just too much, right? She's, she's it, it just extraordinarily overpowered. You, you gotta tone down Kindred. I, I don't care if we're furries here, okay? You know, we're all furries here, but, you know, we can still nerf Kindred. Next champion is, of course, everyone's favorite, Wukong. Wukong commands a 40% ban rate, which if we go to all roles and we look at ban rate, this makes him the third highest ban champion after Belveth and Zeri. He is not getting nerfed next patch. In fact, um, none of these things I've mentioned other than Fiora are actually getting nerfed next patch. They're nerfing basically nothing important. They're nerfing like singed. At any rate... Um, Wukong has the third highest overall ban rate, period, next to two champions who are being nerfed, and then two champions below him that are being nerfed. So, here's Wukong, not being nerfed, Yumi nerfed, Fiora nerfed, Belfath nerfed, Zeri nerfed, but not Wukong. That doesn't make any sense. In top lane, he's extraordinarily overpowered. In the jungle, he is still overpowered. Um, Wukong just needs to be nerfed. Period. Uh, I, I think Divine Sundra Wukong does way too well with his armor from his passive and the Divine Sundra um, just healing and damage. Wukong can just sort of stat check way too many champions. You have to remember that Wukong also has, I think it's like 35% or maybe 30% armor pen on his Q. I could look that up, but I don't want to. And that just means that the durability update affected him less because he shreds so much armor. At any rate, Wukong, please, please nerf Wukong, Riot. And then I guess we'll just go through these ban rate champions. Zeri, but Zeri is getting nerfed next patch. Is she getting nerfed enough? Probably not, to, to be completely honest. She, she's probably not getting nerfed enough, but she is getting nerfed. So Zeri does 100% need to be nerfed. Belveth also needs to be nerfed. Um, that, I, I, I could just make a video. Belveth is like the worst design champion I've ever seen in my entire life. She should die. Belveth should die. I, I honestly think Riot should consider putting this champion back on the PvE and removing her from ranked until they can do a take two. This is, I swear this is one of the worst designed champions. She is so unfun. She is so broken. Oh my god. Yumi, here's the thing about Yumi. Um, Yumi is so annoying to fight right now. I don't, I don't think Yumi really needs to be nerfed if I'm being impartial. But holy shit, I do not have any fun fighting Yumi these days, man. Um, now let's go into mid lane. Mid lane doesn't really seem to have any champions that are particularly broken, other than the wind shitters with lethal tempo. For those of you who don't know, these champions are typically balanced at like 48% win rate, and they don't typically have this high of pick rate. In particular, if we go to all ranks. They are currently dominating at every rank. They have a massive ban rate and massive uh, pick rate across every single rank. It is stupid. Lethal Tempo needs to be nerfed down. Other than that, mid lane doesn't really have anything that outstanding. Once you go to bot lane, I'm going to actually say this. I think Ezreal needs to be nerfed. Yes, I, you heard me right. In addition to Zeri, I think Ezreal, even with his 48% win rate, should be nerfed. This champion is way too safe, he's got way too much pick rate, he does way too good. Um, particularly his synergy with Serilda's Grudge, which Man Immune and Serilda's Grudge and that bullshit basically just give him a permanent slow. That is stupid. He is a ranged champion with a 30% permanent slow. I don't care about his win rate, AD carry players are bad at Ezreal. They just are. They just can't handle having to use abilities. But the fact that his win rate, he gets, he's getting picked in one-fourth of games at this point, is stupid. Both these champions have absolutely ludicrous, out-of-the-line pick rates. Just to show you how absurd their pick rates are, the only other champion who comes close is Viego, who, oh, shockingly, is getting nerfed. So... I could just go ahead and add Viego to this one. Um, yeah, Israel just, right, you need to nerf him down. As for support, this one's actually not too uh, outrageous. This one's actually kind of obvious. In my opinion, once again, Senna needs to be nerfed. Let me actually explain this one. For those of you guys who don't know, 
Um, Senna currently has synergy, and you'll you'll shit your pants when you see this one. Senna currently has his synergy with a current bot laner. Now the thing is, when you actually pick Senna with Tom Kench, you basically get an unbeatable lane combination. That's right. If you go Senna Tom Kench, you basically automatically win the game. Now Brian can talk all they want about oh we want to make sure there's synergy, we want to make sure blah 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 blah. It doesn't matter if you have a lane combo that is basically unbeatable. You cannot try to balance them as if they don't have that lane combo. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that she's already over the top in win rate, the fact that she has a massive ban rate, massive pick rate, and an unbeatable lane combo. I'm gonna mention her twice. Senna desperately needs to be nerfed. This is actually just fucking insane that this shit is not being nerfed. I, I, I literally can't understand why this shit isn't getting nerfed. Renata Glask. Ooh, Renata is quite, 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 quite good right now. And the thing with Renata... Where is Renata at the low ranks? Is Renata not being... Oh, wow. Renata has an extremely low pick rate at the low ranks for being so good. But at Masters Plus, Renata is probably a little bit over the top right now i i might mention her but i'm i'm begrudgingly mentioning her i think she's overpowered but i don't think she's that overpowered i think her win rate eh, it, it's a little bit of a give and take i i do think she should be nerfed i think the health decay when she brings someone back to life should be much lower it is way too easy for her to elongate somebody's life and otherwise win a team fight with that ability it's it's too much in my opinion it's too much and lastly of course we have everybody's not favorite janna with a absolutely ludicrous 54 percent win rate um janna is way out of line and uh there's not much to talk about on this one they are nerfing janna and they're doing a decent nerf it's not any one thing that makes janna overpowered it's just she does a lot of different things and when she's doing a lot of different things they're just sort of all overpowered and that's it that's who i think should be nerfed into the next patch i hope riot maybe adjusts their champion nerf list to include a few of these so fiora needs to be nerfed harder darius needs to be nerfed at all lethal tempo needs to be nerfed kenji needs to be nerfed real hard wukong needs to be nerfed zeri's already getting nerfed i think she should probably get nerfed harder belveth is probably gonna need to get nerfed harder ezreal should be nerfed i don't care about his win rate i think he's overpowered particularly the Cyrilda's man immune with frozen heart that shit's just overpowered senna definitely senna just nerfed this shit ride she's got she's she's just so broken and then renata and janna are coming out on top that's my opinion that's who i think should be nerfed so make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a comment down below um as always make sure to subscribe to my patreon you can see the link in the description remember if you subscribe to my patreon you continue to support this channel and allow me to make these videos and i appreciate it a lot and i remind everybody that if you join my patreon you can help me decide my next videos and you can also uh, message me and get your questions answered so that's always good special shout out to my youtube members you guys are great and as always thank you everybody who just watches this video and gets through it so thank you all thank you everybody and i hope you all have a great rest of your day goodbye everybody